So this fuel cell is back together, just waiting on a fuel pump. And now here's the 72 fuel cell. Uh, this fuel cell still has the foam in it. So uh, I have particularly we're gonna see one hell of a mess. We now have some AN plugs, which I'm really happy about. Plug off these fittings. Now we're just gonna go to town, tear this thing apart. So this fuel cell right here has actually not come apart yet. So this still has the foam on the inside. Be a good comparison when you compare it to the fuel cell that I had opened before. So we'll see what this one looks like and how bad the jet pumps are clogged up. I imagine it'll be pretty gnarly. And look at all that foam. It's all foamy. Yeah, that's all the way down on the... Uh, Oh yeah, there's your problem. Nice. I got a photo of that. Yeah, so just imagine that all broken up inside at the bottom. This is the issue that we have with these cars. Other than that, flawless. Man, we should be in competition against them. Little little nugget. We say competition. Yeah, we'll race them. You know. It's a thing. It'll be a thing. Going with the razor blade. Here we go. We're gonna get choppy. Now just imagine doing this in Las Vegas on three hours of sleep. On uh, this part, let's split the tank. Huh? You didn't split the tank. Really? Took the whole no, no. We took the bladder out and like literally rinsed it out with gas, which is what happens. That which is what's gonna have to happen to this one because this has all the foam in it still. All right, dude. My computer thing attacked, so I gotta go. Your work computer? How is the work computer being attacked? I downloaded a software to do something. Apparently it was corrupt. Nice. Super happy. Oh yeah. Super happy. It's free, alright? Phenomenal. Thanks, man. This is a good fuel pump. There's a lot more fuel in this one than the last one. Yeah, the foam actually holds the fuel. Yeah. Same thing though, get this emptied out, blow it out. Uh, it's gonna have to, I gotta drain it out. There's a lot of fuel in here and it's also, it's gotta be washed out. So this one's gonna be more involved. All of that work was already done on the other one. So, you know, it's not as, uh, it's not as bad or the other one wasn't as bad. Can you hold this up for me? Yeah.
Ooh. Delicious. You can tell they did a really good job gluing all the shit in <laughs> by the overall lack of it. Shit is literally a fucking sponge. It's gonna be one flammable bag of trash. Yep. Oh. Oh. No way. Check the video. Yep, sorry man. Thank you for that one. There's really not, not nothing I can do to prevent that. Is that all of it? I got a whole trash can of it. I don't know, but I'm saying left. I wonder what this one looks like. <laughs> wow, that is completely clogged. Completely clogged. Boom. That's crazy. <clears throat> well, that would cause some uh, fuel starvation issues, huh? Let's see what uh, these look like. That one's not. That one's not as bad. It's the forward ones that seem to get clogged the most. All right, let's see. What does this forward one look like? Oh. Oh well. It's not. Michael's was definitely worse. Yeah. I mean, it's still not great. It's, it's a problem that shouldn't exist. Oh yeah. Oh, oh baby. I'm having a hard time determining what's floating in the fuel versus what's actually attached to the bottom. It's really gross. All right, I'm gonna do a dump on this, see how much comes out. Uh, I've got a, quite a bit of shit on this. Quite side. a bit of schmoo left? Yeah. Yeah, well, some of that bigger stuff you're not really going to be able to get off. Like, if it's not already loose. I mean, it's, it's loose enough that this scraper is just knocking it right off. Well, that's, that's good, then. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, want. in the corners, it's built up pretty... Pretty thickly? Pretty. This is like a foam soup over here. Yeah, same. Oh. Yeah, these are going to need to be rinsed out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to use the fuel for. Oh, okay. Uh, I got gloves on, so we'll go for mine. All right. <laughs> oh boy, that was nearly, <laughs> that nearly sucked. Look at that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's interesting, it turns your hands white. 
Just dries it right out. Yeah. Ah. Good thing JR has lotion. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see if we can get some more out of here. Probably should have shaken it up a little more. There's more fuel in there. Can we? Nah, it's not even worth the time. What? Trying. Whoa. Jesus. You're good. Yeah, it's fine. Just keep going. That's this foam falling out the end. Look at that. Wow. Oh, you got some schmoo on my shoe. <laughs> Here, we're gonna count this as part of the collection. Oh. There's plenty more in there too. Yeah. Dude, just, dude, look at, so that's the big stuff, right? Yeah, the little stuff is the worst stuff even. Trash can. Oh, yeah, this is going outside. Do as much as you can. We do the first two races of the year. Come back, drop them again. Because the pump is going to pick up all the small stuff. And that's just really the only way to actually manage the problem. So. You know, like I said, we had the other video that uh, went out that, you know, I showed you taking apart the fuel cell that already had foam removed from it. Uh, now you've seen what the foam actually does. Just sort of adds some structure and obviously it prevents sloshing of the fuel inside. But the problem is it breaks down over time and then eventually starts to clog everything up. So uh, there's really no benefit to it being in there once that starts. So... Uh, just went ahead and ripped all of that out today and obviously you can see the process is extremely messy and it is time consuming but uh, it's going to save a lot of heartache and, and pain throughout the year uh, so just taking care of it now um, but uh, yeah this is some of the stuff that you have to do and uh, it's little things like this that you don't really have to worry about when you're at the track and so the, the whole theme of this year is avoiding problems that could be avoided in advance and that's one of those things. You know, as always, questions, comments, leave in the comment box below. Be happy to get back to you on any questions that you might have. Um, obviously, rate and subscribe. Follow me along on Instagram. And as always, I'll see you for the next one.